現れろ未来を導くサーキット召喚条件はレベル1モンスター1体リンク召喚リンク1リンク2 So, the first duel we're playing against Maxime. We're starting with a Kepler, Lamia, a Jester Confit, Field of Summoning, Karibo, and Ash. So, basically, we have four level one monsters. So, let's see what we can do out of this. We, of course, summon Kepler, activate the effect, get contract, activate set contract, search another Kepler. Then, we're going to use Lamia's effect to send. Oh, to send the contract, summon just your confit, make two link rebels and link them out into a cyber switch. Now we're going into the codebreaker package with zero day, zero day uh, with virus, virus swordsman getting zero day, linking into berserker, going into Goki Power Load Ogre, and a two material Appaloosa. Now the Power Load Ogre is getting. He's getting kaijued, the opponent tries to do something, but he just finishes on a red resonator pass. So we're going to attack it. Nothing really interesting happening here. Synchron resonator is getting someone. I think the opponent forgot how to normal set, but I digress. We're going to keep on attacking, there's nothing the opponent can do, and he scoops. And game two. We're setting. Also pretty decently with Kepler, Double Jack, Through Summoning Karibo, and Jamming Waves. It's a pretty decent hand, so let's see what we can do with it. We're going to start with Kepler, standard DD play. We're going to get Lamia. Lamia will, get, will activate Jack in the hand. The opponent will get our Tiny Spirit Athara, but we will get Magician Souls. Going into the Codebreaker package, we're summoning Magician's Souls, using Souls effect to send two cards and get two more. Codebreaker stuff. Nothing really interesting or new here. And we're going to Power Load Ogre and Appaloosa. Now the opponent summoning Athara. Fine. Summoning Fortune Ladies. Now this is going to get interesting. We're going to negate the effect of water, fortunately the water, so he doesn't draw any cards. So he synchros on the TD Hyper Lord Ryan and just desynchros it. Doing some Fortune Lady plays, Future Vision, Fortune Lady Dark. And summon Stardust Charge Warrior to throw more cards. I wonder if anyone fa I wonder if anyone knows where this is going. Water, draw more cards. And more cards. Can I mention drawing more cards yet? Because that's what he is doing. Drawing and drawing and drawing and the synchro and draw. He is drawing a shit ton of cards. And spellbook of knowledge. And he finally ends his turn. So we're going to go dark contract, get the Lamia. Summon said Lamia. Summon. Hockey Feinbergs will get us 0 1. He'll give us Aurora Dawn. Aurora Dawn will summon tokens and get Deskbot. We'll then proceed to Synchro Summon. And unfortunately, we are 400 life points short. The opponent will start doing the Fortune Lady plays again. He'll start. He'll try to do a calling, but he'll negate it with Drawn Dexter, and he'll just activate another one. Unfortunately, Dark will summon water again, and then the opponent uses Monster Reward to summon another water. Draw more cards, summon Croco Dragon. Draw more cards, I haven't mentioned drawing yet. These synchro summon Pasta and two waters, drawing more cards. And this is where we lose the duel. Fortune Lady Exodia. I never actually thought this would happen to me.
And duel number three. We're starting very decently, I guess. With Hornet Drones, Quick Launch, Rocket Synchron. We're playing only one. <laughs> We're only playing one of those, and we still draw it. Fuck my life. Kepler and the Zero Day, which we also don't want to draw. The opponent starts with a Foolish Burial, sending Darkworm. Darkworm will get Gate Zero. The opponent will then set his Pendulum Scales with Double Iris and Gate Zero, set the card and Exceed Summon Dark Rebellion. What is this, Dark? So our Sky Striker token will trigger. Yeah, I guess that's Zog because the opponent uses Super Poly to bring out a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. But we are still able to make a Hulk Fireback Fly, get Dark Spot 001, link it into Aurora Dawn, get some tokens, and Synchro Summon Moonlight Rose Dragon. Which bounces back the. Oh, god damn it. Stopping Venom. The opponent activates Dark Worm, uh, searches more cards, Purple Fang Magician, Supreme King Dragon, Dark Rebellion. So, yeah, very, very Zark. Kepler searches during the Kepler Plague. The BD engine is live, so we're just rolling with it, summoning Herald of Arclight. Making access code the big boy Toka and swinging for game. And finally, the last duel. We're starting with the contract, Magician Souls, Ash Blossom, War of Dao, and Quirk Launch. So you have access to our rocket package, which we're going to abuse right away. Yes, Rocket Synchron is summoned. We are doing stuff. Go Kepler, where of thou gets us Lamia. Then we're going to normal summon the Kepler, search out the contract, then use Kepler to make a rock link Karibo, link Karibo into Witch. And we're going to summon Magician Souls, make go into the Codebreaker package and do the Codebreaker plays. Which is pretty standard at this point. Go kill Power Load Ogre and two Material Appaloosa. The opponent will start with a fossil deck, but will be met with an Ash Blossom, and this Megalo Smasher X will smash our Appaloosa. But we'll start by acti activating the contract, which is going to be destroyed by a Spiral Trap card, and that Megalo Smasher will be hit by our Power Load Ogre. We draw a card and we attack. Nothing else that is happening here. The opponent draws, sets a card, and passes. So another free hit for 2800, I guess. Which is going to be exactly the amount that the Power Load Ogre has when it comes to his attack. Now the set card and passing, so yeah, let's just proceed with the with the big boom. Storming Mirror Force doesn't work and the opponent loses. So and that will be it for the replays, and now to the deck list. So I hope you enjoyed those little replays. Yeah, so this is the deck list. Standard extenders, the Magician Souls package, Jack in the Hand for some searching, the Sky Striker engine. The Quick Launch, the Rocket Engine, my personal favorite, the Wing Karibo Engine. It works. <coughs> it works on the same premise as the Rocket Engine, but it just summons a Karibo. The DD Lamia package, where of thou for more searching, one for one. Zero day because we're playing the Code Breakers and Ash Blossom. As for the extra deck, we have the Moonlight Dragon, Don Dragster, Pegasus, Herald, Access Code, Big Boy, Appaloosa, 
the Codebreakers with Gook Power Load Ogre, Aurora Dawn, Hockey Firebrax, this is one of Kagari, Double Link Rebo, and Cyber Switch. I really like Cyber Switch because I can just summon two Link Karibos, and I don't need Draco Master of the Tenyi to make any of my Codebreaker plays, which is really refreshing. Anyway, that will be it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a comment or a like, and I will see you in the next one. Jacobo signing out. Peace!